Hi, I'm Matt, and in this episode, you're going to be connecting up your receiver to your flight controller board. Now, a quick note here, it doesn't matter if you're using a V1 or a V2, the pin connections are exactly the same, and the process is the same between the pair of them, and it does differ slightly if you're going to be using SBUS or PPPM. PPM. I'll get that right eventually. Hey ho. Anyway. So what have we got on the desk? Let's have a quick look. Now, you'll see in front of me, I've got the flight control board, which is, this one's a V2. I do have a D4R2 here with me as well. Uh, you'll notice that I'm using this one because uh, we can set this one to spit out PPM on pin one, uh, and if you put a little jumper on it. And the one which I'm, I'm actually gonna be using is the X8R receiver, which has got an SBUS port down there at the bottom. Now this is the part where I mentioned that you will need that odd lead, which is a male-to-male -male lead. And the reason why we need a male-to-male -male lead is because we've got, we got a female connection on our receiver and a female connection, uh, well, kind of female connection on our flight controller board. Now connecting this up is really straightforward. Are you ready for this? We are going to plug that in on pin one, like so. So you'll see there the white wire, which comes from the S bus uh, Move that on the screen. So we've got S bus there on that top pin. So the white wire comes out of the S bus signal, comes around and goes through, and it goes in onto uh, the first set of pins, just like you can see on my board there. Now, just in case you have a V1 board, let me just quickly show you with a V1 board where you plug it in. So let me unplug that one there. Let me put that on your screen for you. There we go. So we're looking for the next to the video pins, uh, and we need to plug it in like so. So there you go. As you can see, uh, that's how you plug in. It goes into the first set of pins on the uh, front side of the board. Right. Anyway, we were doing a V2 board, so uh, I'm going to plug that back in. Now, before we go any further, it's really worth pointing out that for our video transmitter, and I hope that comes out all right on our screen, kind of, uh, I might have to move, excuse the thumb, uh, I'll sit, do my best to show you on here. Now, I just want to make the point on my transmitter, is that this is not working out very well, is it? Let me just jam some of it down the back. Have I got... Aha, that might be better. There we go. Right, let me move that back a touch. Right. Uh, let me go across the page. And I want to make this point to you, is that as far as the mixer goes for iNav, it doesn't matter if you're flying a fixed wing model, uh, whether that's like a, I don't know, a mini Talon or a, twi a twin star, for example, uh, it doesn't matter. Or if you're flying a flying wing, you put no mixing in your transmitter. OK, so you'll see that my mixer here on the uh, Tyrannus, we're spitting out aileron, elevator, throttle and rudder. OK, uh, and that's uh, and normally I have mine set up as tear. So throttle, uh, aileron, elevator, rudder, but just for sheer ease. On this instance, for iNav, I've set mine up as AETR. Doesn't matter which way around you do it. If you have got a slightly different order to this, don't panic. I'll show you where you can change those settings uh, in iNav. Now, with that said, okay, I want to make the big point here. Do not put any mixing in here. So if you're used to with a flying wing putting in half, rud uh, half elevator with half rudder, oh, sorry, half elevator with half rudder, Aileron, I'll get it right eventually. Now, you don't do that for iNav. You need 100% for each of them and all of them on dedicated channels. You'll also notice down here is that I've got SF. Engines armed. Engine off. Set up is a two-way switch. I've got SE. Horizon off. Horizon race mode. Set up. And channel 7 is SG, which is on the top right-hand corner. Heading hold active. Return to launch. Off in the top right hand corner of my transmitter as well. So I've got four default channels and I've got three switches. Okay, brilliant. I hope that makes sense. Now, obviously, if you're using other kit like a Spectrum or FlySky, don't know on any of those uh, transmitters, but just make sure you've got uh, no mixing. That's my key point here. No mixing at all coming out, okay? So let's put that to one side. So let's get our flight controller back. I can take that pencil out the back of the iPad now. <laughs> right, V2 board. We've got a receiver connected up. Let's go and plug her in. Now, I am, of course, assuming that you already have your uh, receiver bound. Uh, and, oh, bad map, bad map, bad map. Mine's not bound. I'll be back with you in a moment. Hooray, and we're bound. Right, naughty map. 
I know it's bound and got a green light on there. That's happy days. Right, so that's the receiver connected up. Now we need to go and move ourselves over to the iNav software. So let's go down to configuration. Now, if you, you've been and used PPM, so maybe you've used a D4R2 and you're using a PPM output. And again, apologies, I don't, I don't know for any other um, transmitter technologies. I'm, I just use FR Sky. Okay. Now, with that said, uh, if you are using SBUS, okay, now this, is, this part is specifically aimed at SBUS. I'll cover PPM in a moment. If you, you, if you are using SBUS, you go to your ports tab. Uh, and as I showed you in a previous episode, UART1, uncheck MSP. Remember, leave row one alone, because that's really dangerous, because it well, you just lose connection with the board. Uh, so anyway, coming back to the point, UART1, turn off MSP and turn on Serial RX and press save and reboot in the bottom right hand corner. So make sure it looks the same as my screen and then you click save and reboot in the bottom left. Then on the configuration tab, scroll down so let's scroll down and you'll see that i've got serial based receiver checked uh, and then for the drop down box in here i've chosen s bus brilliant so i'm going to quickly press save and reboot wait for that to finish wait for that to kick back in again connect now how do you know if it's working or not well we go down to the receivers tab and i'm going to twiddle the sticks I'll grab it over here. So I'm twiddling the sticks and everything is, well, I'm moving the sticks and they're moving. Now, are they moving the right way? Good question. So uh, first of all is that you'll see that the channel map up here, I've got that set to aileron elevator throttle rudder. So that matches the mixer, which I've got here. Maybe yours is set up differently and instead you've got tear. So let me move across. So maybe you've got throttle ailerons elevator rudder you would change that channel map in the top left hand corner and then click save in the bottom left hand corner. In my case, I've got them set up as AETR. Okay, right. So how do we know if we got these set up correctly? We move our elevator, sorry, our aileron stick to the right and the value increases. We move it to the left and the roll value decreases. If your transmitter is doing that in reverse, you need to switch the channel or reverse the channel on your transmitter, okay? So we move to the right, on to the right, the roll value increases, we move to the left and the roll value decreases. When it comes to the pitch, when we move forwards, the value increases. So you're pushing down on the stick, the value increases. When you pull back on the stick, the value decreases. If yours is going the wrong way round, so you're pulling back and the value for pitch is getting bigger, then you need to go and change that, uh, invert or reverse the channel in your transmitter. Uh, for uh, your, when we pull the stick to the left, you'll see the value is decreased. And when we move the stick to the right, is the value increases. Again, if yours is going in the opposite direction, so you're pushing right on your stick and the value is going down, reverse your rudder channel. And the last one is throttle. Engines armed. You push your stick up and the value increases. You pull the stick down and the value decreases. Brilliant. Engine off. You have just gone and seen my auxiliary switches moving. Uh, Sorry, I've got sounds off. on my transmitter. Heading hold active. And we can see. Return to launch. Off. Horizon. And they're working. Engines Brilliant. Engine off. Right. I'm going to press save on that one quickly. Now let's just say you had a PPM receiver. That setup, which we just covered just then, is exactly the same, okay? But, except for what we did with the presets, uh, sorry, with the ports tab. So if you're using PPM, you don't need to enable Serial RX. And when it comes to the configuration tab, if you scroll down, you choose PPM, sorry, PPM RX input, and then press save and reboot. After you press save and reboot, just go back, go to your receivers tab, and you'll see the same. Move the stick to the right, and then just go through the last couple of steps, which we've just been through. So there you go. That's setting up your receiver in iNav. Now, remember, check those stick movements. Right, up. Forwards, up. Right, up on the your stick, and then, of course, throttle up as well. You need to make sure that the those inputs we've just been go gone through match what's coming out here in iNav. 
So with that said, I hope this episode's been and helped you. We are plowing on through this uh, series. Uh, to be honest, uh, I am actually recording these out of sequence, but I can tell you that I just actually recorded the GPS episode. So if you're watching this, the GPS part is in the next video, which you're going to see. And after that, it's connecting up a couple of servos. Maybe a little comment around wiring for, because down here we've got the V2 board and we need to talk about the wiring. Uh, we need to talk about the video link as well, our FPV system, which is mashing, uh, ooh, four wires in and two of them are ground. So we really can't go wrong with those. Uh, and we're ready to install in a model. So with that said, exciting times. See you in the next part of this series on iNav. From myself, Matt, cheerios.